And the recipes that I'm going to be bringing to you is vegan meatballs. Okay, there's no meat obs, but what do we call them? Vegan balls? <laughs> the mung bean coconut curry I've made before and it was absolutely delectable. Mmm! and welcome back to my channel I'm super excited today I'm coming at you with two vegan recipes that I'm gonna do for my seven-day meal prep um, that I normally do on a Sunday and um, the recipes that I'm gonna be bringing to you is vegan meatballs okay there's no meat arms but what do we call them vegan balls <laughs> I'm coming at you with some vegan balls tomato sauce and pasta meal number one that's nice and hearty and then meal number two is mung bean coconut curry which I've tried before and uh, and some rice I'm looking forward to the meals that I've got uh, lined up I've never ever 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 in my life tried to make vegan uh, meatballs so pray for me and I really hope that they taste yummy I followed a recipe from the minimalist baker um, and then the mung bean coconut curry I've made before and it was absolutely delectable mm. Anyways guys, so what I normally do as I said last week is that I have a recipe list that translates into a shopping list go to the stores today a different thing that I did was go to a different store called Jackson's This is the plug guys if you want to stay vegan, okay? Staying vegan is important sometimes um, so Jackson sells real food, fantastic store, uh, there's not a lot around Joburg but there are enough for you not to have an excuse to not go. And I got myself some nutritional yeast, I've been seeing this a lot on the vegan blogs. I tried to get vegan parmesan but I couldn't get it so I decided to get the recipe for vegan parmesan and I'm making it from scratch um, and then a couple of other you know very specialized ingredients if you really want to get into the vegan lifestyle and the vegan thing then I suggest that you go to Jackson's and just check out what they what they have over there I once went there for breakfast guys and I had a vegan bacon mm -hmm. and egg sandwich it was so tasty I couldn't believe that there was no meat in that thing okay not that vegan food is not tasty, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Anyways, join me today as I create these two recipes. What I do normally is to do three, three of each servings. And then the Sunday, obviously, I'm going to eat what I prep next week. So I make three servings, three servings, so that I've got everything, something from Monday until um, Saturday. In the mornings, I have a cold breakfast. Like I told you before, I chop up some cucumbers or fruit or whatever, make a little salad. And then in the evenings, uh, sometimes I, I just I just juice. If not, then I will have something very, very, very light, like a salad or whatever. So I don't need to prep that in advance because it literally takes like five minutes. The results were great last week. I really, I mean, can you see? I don't know if you can see, but like... <laughs> I mean, <laughs> they are not super easy, very simple to follow, but not super easy because there's a lot of different steps and I'm making a lot of stuff from scratch. Um, so, but don't be discouraged because you can find the stuff at Jackson's the way that it is. It's just that they ran out of stock today. Okay. So you don't have to make everything from scratch. Um, you know me, Miss Lazy Bone. So this takes a lot. This takes a lot out of me. But because I love you and because I love me, my body temple, girl, I will do anything to make it happen. Catch you on the other side after I've done the meals. So before you start with anything, you put your oven on and preheat it to 190 degrees. And then you pour a little bit of oil into two pans, a saucepan and a flat pan. I took a large onion, I mean you know I bought pre-cut ones already. Sliced them up, added a little bit more and then I split it into two into the different pans. So one is for the tomato sauce and one is just for the onions to brown. I added a teaspoon of garlic to each of them. 
and I gave one of them a little stir and the other one also a little stir and uh, added some cherry tomatoes to the tomato uh, sauce pan added a tablespoon of tomato paste gave it a stir also I added a dash of water just so the onions don't stick to the pan and then I gave it another stir I added one tin of canned tomatoes just to make tomato sauce really really soupy sprinkle some salt and some pepper just to taste and then one teaspoon of sugar because I like it a little bit sweet also and then stir it up and we're done onto the chickpeas now spread them across the a clean baking tray um, and just make sure that they're evenly distributed Hoy them straight into the, the the oven I only realized now that that thing was skew guys anyways let's get on to the next thing you're gonna decant the onions that are brown into a cup and then you set it aside to cool then now because we don't eat eggs as vegans we're creating our own with flax seeds so you create a meal with one tablespoon of flax seeds and then you throw in three tablespoons of water and you let it sit to the side for about five minutes and then it'll start to congeal and um, help you to have your batter stick together there your eggs are done now we are making vegan parmesan we start with 100 grams of cashew nuts blend them again to make them powdery don't over blend otherwise it will become uh, almost like peanut butter this is what it looks like and now we can go on to add three tablespoons of nutritional yeast to the mix then a, tape, a teaspoon of garlic flakes and then some salt and we are done with the vegan parmesan I had to mix it a little bit more then I'm gonna scoop up all the dried chickpeas into the blender after they've been um, in the oven for 15 minutes until they're also a powdery consistency and I pour them into a bowl I blend the onions again then I add them to the bowl with the chickpeas and then more ingredients come in so now it's time for your flaxseed egg which is the equivalent of one egg then you add a third of a cup of the vegan parmesan that I created Poi some Italian spices, about two teaspoons, and then a quarter cup of freshly chopped parsley. What I could have done is chopped this a little bit more finer, but uh, I was lazy. And so I put in one half of a cup of breadcrumbs, and then two tablespoons of the tomato sauce that I created there on the side, and mix it. Guys, somebody needs to get me a food processor because this was not sexy at all, okay? Now you prepare your vegan parmesan coating with a little bit of breadcrumbs just to create a coating and then you take the dough, you rub it into, you roll it into balls and then you rub it into the parmesan which uh, you're done now. Just in case you missed it, I'm going to repeat it again. You roll it into a ball nicely in your palm. Um, they, they can get quite flaky so be gentle um, and then you repeat that once again. There we go guys, do it for all of them. I think I got about 15 balls out of this. Um, and then I was very happy with my little 15 balls. It's gonna last me for quite a long time. Pour them into the pan. Um, you can actually fit all 15 of them in, in the pan, if you've got the pan the si same size as me. I was just being conservative. Um, and then once they are browned on all sides, which means that you've cooked them for about five minutes each, then you can put them on the baking tray and bake them for 15 to 20 minutes depending on how crispy you like yours. Now we make the pasta. I'm not going to walk you through this guys. We all know how to make pasta, okay? Guys, did you see those meatballs? Did you see them? Now it's time to dish up. Uh, obviously I put my pasta as the base throw some tomato sauce on top and then I put four meatballs each. Matu MC Uzoti Nangu Makoti Ehamba Msayele ni Zandla Basalwane and Mbonu go to Mushaganjani.
on to the next one now it's a simple mung bean curry throw some oil put about a tablespoon of curry and about the same amount of garlic flakes also I love garlic then give it a little bit of a stir once you're done with that stage then you can throw in the diced and peeled tomatoes in there and then let them to cook a little bit for about five minutes after stirring While you're waiting for the pot to simmer, then grate some fresh ginger and then throw that fresh ginger into the, the, the pot and stir once again. This is the point where you'll be adding a whole lot of other spices. Add a little bit of coriander, I am estimating about 2 teaspoons, 3 teaspoons. A bit of uh, turmeric, I'm estimating I put about a teaspoon there. Um, some salt and uh, some cayenne pepper. A little bit of the heat I don't normally put a lot it looks like a lot but it's not um, and then lastly give it a bit of a stir and simmer once again for five minutes you pour four cups of boiling water which is one liter of water and then you pour one cup of mung beans I don't really have a full cup I don't know why give it a stir <laughs> um, and then you're good to go at this particular point Close the, the pot and put it on low heat for 30 minutes until the beans are cooked. Then you can get started on your microwave rice. Very simple. Put one cup of rice in there. If you want to put salt, do that also. Six cups of boiling water. And then once you're done, just give it a bit of a stir. Then you close it with a glass lid that should have a hole on top for it, the steam to escape. Then you put it in the microwave for 20 minutes and you're good to go at this particular point. So after 30 minutes, open up your pot, throw in one can of coconut milk, give your pot a little bit of a stir and at this point you can add some chopped veggies to let them start cooking through and um, we're literally, we're done guys and after about 10 minutes we can start serving. Very excited about this. So in each lunch tin, I put about two spoons of rice and then I also put in uh, one spoon each of the mung bean, not one spoon, three spoons each of the mung bean curry in order to make sure that I am full because this is normally the only solid meal that I eat in the day. And then we are done guys. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you're going to try one of the two recipes or both. Um, I really, really, really love the vegan meatballs. I still feel strange calling them meatballs, guys. They are vegan balls. I mean, so what I'm going to do during the week, I'm going to make a fresh cucumber slices with uh, bell pepper slices as like a salad on the side of the rice and the mung beans. And then... Um, that's going to be my plan. And then I'm going to enjoy it just like that. Guys, thank you so much for, for watching this video. Like it if you're going to do any one of these. Or if you just think that I'm pretty, guys. Just like it. And um, share it with your friends that are vegan curious. Your friends that are vegan. Actually, all your friends. Because these make badass side dishes also. And then... Lastly, subscribe to my channel. Click right over here, right over here, and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, guys. We're over 100. We're over 100. Yes! Okay, on to the next one. We're on to 200 now, so make sure that you share with all your friends so that we can grow the family. I just had a conversation with my mom, and she said she's going vegan. I mean... I mean, like, isn't that amazing? Um, yeah, so she did the Daniel Fast at church for the past, I think, 14 days. And she's like, I feel so amazing. Oh my gosh, Ophi, this is so beautiful. Please send me the recipes. So I'm just like, Mama, watch my YouTube channel. Also send to your mamas, y'all. Send to your mamas. We need our mamas to be vegan also. I love you for watching. Mwah. My name is Sofente and welcome back to my channel. Okay, wait. Hi guys!
Let's start again. <laughs>